Hey guys, this is Alex, and this is our first tutorial video for Rubik's Cubes. Now, I am super excited, because I've got currently eight, and I will definitely have a lot more as uh, time progresses. I'll be buying a few more and stuff, and, you know, eventually I want to have tutorials on all of them. And I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, but, you know, you have to start somewhere, and I think it's best to start with the 3 by 3 because uh, that's the original Rubik's Cube. Now, don't expect to be able to just follow along with this video and immediately be able to solve the Rubik's Cube. Like, this is going to take time, it's going to take effort, um, you know, it's going to take a lot longer for you to learn. As you first start out with Rubik's Cubing, it just, every little thing is hard, because you don't really understand how it works yet. Like, as you're, as you're just trying to do something very simple, it, it's hard to do and you can't figure out things, but as you work, you'll get better at it, and uh, it'll definitely become easier, and I'll be able to start going faster. But as we start, especially with this first tutorial, I'm going to, you know, just very basics of Rubik's Cubes. Uh, so, let's begin. Alright, so the first step in solving a Rubik's Cube is, of course, unsolving it. So, uh, you probably already have an unsolved cube, but if not, uh, go ahead and unsolve it. Uh, a few tips for quick, you know, scrambling. Do not turn it, like, three or four times, because that's that's not doing anything, you know, like, in the same spot, like, oh, I'll just keep spinning this and it'll just become unsolved. No, you, you've got to, like, have variation. So there's basically three steps that I'm going to show you in solving this cube. The first step is solving the white side. The second step is getting these two layers. And the third step is solving the top side. And we'll be done. Uh, so this is part one step one or something like that uh solving the white cross so basically uh this part requires no rhythms algorithms which is another word for just like a pattern um you don't need to know that all you're doing is getting four white squares in the shape of a plus sign where these match up so it's you can't just have any white squares here and say that they're right because these pieces have another side and that side has to correspond to the right, to uh, the correct side uh, that it's to. So this would be incorrect. That's that's not right, because it's right here, sure, but it's not right there. So you have to put it there. So this is just going to take work for you, to, to you know, intuition and stuff, uh, trying to figure out how this works. But, you know, simply, if you have a white on the top like this, and you want it to be here, of course, you just spin it into place. You know, you have it here. And so what you want to do is, say it's on the green, and you see that it's a white and a red, you want to move it over to the red so that it matches there, and then spin it around, and you have it in the correct spot. And we already luckily have a white-orange in the correct spot. So all we have left is the white-blue up here, and the white-green up here. Now there's something that you're going to need to know about uh, this step. When you spin a white piece into its spot, and the white side is on the wrong side, obviously, here. Uh, what you have to do is, this is kind of your first rhythm, I suppose. Um, but it's not really. All you have to do is move it down. And then you're going to move it ugh, stuck up, like that, in order to put it right. But, I'm sure you noticed, we messed up this one. So you can't just move it down and move it up, like that. What you have to do is you actually have to move it down, is the first step, and then you have to move these pieces out of the way, like that, okay? So move them left, move it into place, and move them back, okay? I'll do that again with this next piece. Uh, where is it? There it is. So it's actually in a rough spot. You'll notice that we cannot move anything that has it in it without messing up these. All you're going to do is move it down, move it out of the way, and move it back. That's all it takes. So here we have the white, and I matched it up with the green, and we move it into place. There you go. And now we have the white cross where each piece corresponds. Uh, so I'm going to show you again, though, uh, what, it, what you do when it's uh, flipped. Okay, so say let's go, we have this uh, white and green right here, and so we move it into the correct spot, right? But it's flipped. It's upside down. So what we want to do is we want to 
move it down. We want to move these out of the way. We want to put it up. And then we move them back. Okay? That's all there is to it. And you'll get used to it. So, that's how you get the white plus. Next step. Alright, so uh, in this step, we are going to be putting the four white corners uh, to complete the white side. But once again, you can't have any old white corner. You might look at this and say, oh look, I've already got one. Nice. But look, it doesn't match. See? It's got to match with your other pieces. Um, otherwise, you're going to get halfway through the solve and realize that it's not working. You know, so you've got to get it right the first time. So here's where we're going to have our first algorithm. And so I'm actually going to need to tell you a little bit about notation, okay? Notation is really simple once you learn it. The uh, It's letters, and it's either clockwise or counterclockwise. So if it was F, F stands for front. So normal F would be front clockwise. You know, it's just like a clock, and you move it clock forward, you know? Um, and that's all, that's all there is to it. Um, if it's F prime, you'll do it. Backwards, counterclockwise. Same with U. Uh, U means up, which it should be top, I think, but it means up. And so U normal will be clockwise. U prime would be counterclockwise. Same with R is right, clockwise, and counterclockwise. L is left, clockwise, and counterclockwise. Really, it's a quite simple concept when you... Uh, when you get used to it. Basically, this is the simplest algorithm ever, but you want a corner to be in the correct spot, and here we already have it, okay? You, you look at the sides. We have white, red, and blue. That's this corner right here. Right here we have white, red, and blue. So we're going to position it directly above the corner we want. So if it was over here, we'd take it back over, right on top, okay? And we hold it like this, with it on the right, and above that square. And we do R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay? So R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. And you'll continue doing that until you get it in the right spot. R, U, R prime, U prime. And right there, it's in its spot. So here's our next one. Uh, it's white, green, and orange. Where's that? White, green, and orange. So we're going to move it directly above. And R, U, R prime, U prime. And it's already in the spot, okay? Only took one that time because if the white's on the right side, it only takes once. If it's on the top, it takes twice. If it's on the left, it takes three times. Uh, so we're going to do this one. Green and red. Where's that? Green and red. So we're going to move it above. We're going to hold it like this. R, U, R prime, U prime. Okay, let's do it again. R, U, R prime, U prime. Let's do it again. R, U, R prime, U prime. There you go. Let's try this one. Now it's uh, where the white is on the right, so it'll be real fast. It's above where we want it. Hold it. R, U, R prime, U prime. There you go. And that is the white side. Um, okay, so the next step is we're going to get these edge pieces, just like here. Okay? There's only four of them, uh, but sometimes they can take more than four things, but... Uh, that's all we're doing for this second step. So, basically, you know, each of these it has two sides, and it's going to have the two colors. So, the top side is yellow. So, anything that does not have yellow in it is going to end up being here, because all of these pieces on top is going to have yellow in it. So, you find a piece that doesn't have yellow on the top, right? On the top layer. The, the white is now the bottom. I'm sorry, I didn't clarify that. The white that we just solved, it's now the bottom. Um, so that's our base. So the yellow's the top. So in the top layer, anything that has no yellow in it, we will uh, find a piece like that. So here's a green and a red, okay? And we're going to end up putting that piece where? Right here, in between the green and the red, because that's where it goes. So what you want to do is you want to position uh, the piece where the, you know, where the colors match, just like that, right? where the color is matching the centerpiece. Um, and in this case, we're on the right side of the red. Now there's two algorithms you're gonna have to learn, okay? And this is just where brute memorization comes in, right? Uh, there's nothing else for it. But there's, uh, there's two algorithms. One is for when you're gonna be moving the piece to the right side, and one is gonna be moving the piece to the left side. 
So we'll be doing the left side first. All right, hold your breath. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. And that did it. All right, let's do that again. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. I mean, it's just like magic. I do not really pretend to exactly understand these algorithms. It's just something that you learn, and it does the trick, and it's perfect. So that's just something you're going to have to write down on your own and uh, use as a reference for the time being until it becomes embedded in your brain, and then you'll be able to do it on your own. So here is the other rhythm. So in this case, we have a red and a blue, and we've positioned it to where uh, it matches with the centerpiece. And this time, it's not going to the left, because that would be blue and orange. It's going to the right, to blue and red. So this time, rather than uh, saying U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime, we're saying the exact opposite. We're saying U, R, U prime, R prime. U prime, F prime, U, F. And there it goes. Let's do that again with uh, the green and the orange. I positioned it correctly, and it's going over here. U, R, U prime, R prime. U prime, F prime, U, F. And that piece is in now. Uh, and this is the last piece here in our section. And you'll notice that it's the correct piece in there, but it's flipped around. Well, what that means is that we have to do uh, our rhythms twice, okay? So, for some reason, my favorite is the rhythm putting it to the right. I don't know why, but, uh, so I'm going to do that real fast to get it out. And then we'll do it again to put it back in. I'll do my, uh, pattern. U, R, U prime, R prime. U prime, F prime. U, F. And see, now it's gone. And it's put it back in the top somewhere. There it is. So we're going to put it back uh, to where it goes. We've got it in the correct slot, and it's going to go to the right. So here we go again. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And look at that. Now we've got the bottom layer and the middle layer. So all that's left is the top. Okay, so this video is turning out to be extremely long. So go ahead and go to part two to uh, finish this tutorial.